So decimal subtraction advanced, we have 21.7 minus 5. There is no decimal showing, so we need to recognize that the decimal would come after the whole number. And then as we've done before, if it helps you to put a zero in this spot here, go ahead and do that. So we've got seven minus zero is seven. We cannot take one five away from one, so we need to borrow. That becomes a one, that becomes an 11. 11 minus five is six. Decimal stays lined up. And one minus zero is one. So we've got 16.7 and 22.1 minus 4. Recognizing the decimal would fall after the 4. And if you would like, you can put a 0 there. 1 minus 0 is 1. Cannot take four away from two, so we need to borrow. That becomes a one, that becomes a 12. 12 minus four, and recognize we need to line the decimal up still. 12 minus four is eight, one minus zero is one, 18.1. Okay, 79 minus 1.1. We need to recognize the decimal is after the 9 there, 1.1. .1. And if putting a 0 in the empty slot helps you, do that. And we cannot take 1 away from 0, so we need to borrow. That becomes an 8. That becomes a 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. Decimal stays lined up. 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 minus 0 is 7. So 77.9. Okay, and then lastly for this video, 39 minus, we need to recognize that the decimal would be right there. So we'll line up the decimal for the 7.1 accordingly. 7.1. Okay, put the zero in as a placeholder. That helps you see what's going on there. So zero minus one, can't do it, need to borrow. That becomes an eight, that becomes a 10. 10 minus one is nine. Decimal stays lined up. 8 minus 7 is 1. 3 minus nothing is 3. So 31.9 for this one. And that's it for this video.